What is going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and thank you very much for checking out episode 3 of H1Z1 Season 1. So, I was thinking to myself the other day, it's been a while since I've played H1Z1 and it's been a while since I've made an H1Z1 video for you guys, so here it is. Uh, the next three parts, this part and two parts after this, are actually going to be uh, kind of wrapping up Season 1, giving you guys my first impressions. Because as of right now, the game isn't exactly where I would like it to be or where I thought it would be uh, when the game came out. Uh, I guess I was expecting a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going over some of the things that I've liked about H1Z1 so far, some of the things that I've disliked about it, and some overall comparisons that can be made to other games in the same genre, kind of like Daisy Standalone, and, uh, well, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to compare it to Daisy Standalone, really. Um, but yeah, uh, so one of the things that I've really liked about H1Z1 is the crafting. Um, I haven't been able to find a gun yet. Hopefully I'm going to be able to find a gun in one of these videos, but... The, the entire crafting system is really cool because, you know, you can instantly get into a game, pick some of these sticks up, and, uh, you know, tear up, tear up a shirt or something like that, and craft bow and arrow, and you're good to go. You know, you got a, a decent short-range weapon that can at least take care of zombies while you look for other things to take care of humans. I mean, I'm sure you can probably shoot arrows at people and it'd be effective in some way or fat or some way or another uh i did i've gotten killed by a bow and arrow once or twice so i don't know let me take care of this zombie real quick there we go so i would have to say if you guys are more interested in the crafting games uh kind of like rust i hear rust is very craft oriented uh but yeah, like I said, if you guys are into the more crafting games, I would definitely check out H1Z1 over Daisy Standalone. Uh, Daisy Standalone's crafting system is getting there, but it's probably going to take some time, as most of Daisy Standalone stuff is going to do. It's just going to take time. So if you guys are looking for a little bit more of an in-depth crafting system, maybe give this one a shot. Um... But yeah, I mean, o overall, it's just, I, I think it's definitely a reason to pick up this game. Uh, especially when you, uh, if you don't have, like, bandages and stuff like that, bandages will actually give you back your, uh, a little bit of your health over time. Uh, it really depends on, because, you know, you, you can apply a bandage, it'll start to regenerate your health, and then after it stops regenerating your health, you can just apply another bandage and, and start the entire process all over again. With Daisy Standalone, you can't do stuff like that. So, I mean, that may be something that the uh, developers of this game actually end up changing in the near future at some point. Uh, if they haven't already decided to start implementing changes to that system already. Uh, but it is kind of ridiculous how you can just keep applying bandages to regenerate your health. It doesn't... Wow, that arrow... That arrow didn't even go into him. I can't even pick it up. Okay, whatever. With some of these arrows, at least with most of them, you should be able to pick them up. But sometimes... I don't know. I guess your character just can't see it. Um, another thing is that the day and night cycle on this ends up running a lot quicker. It seems like I've been playing for about... I don't know... 10 15 minutes now i started recording about almost five minutes ago and i don't know we're slowly approaching sundown or i mean it, it is sundown we're currently approaching nighttime and you know the day night cycle is a little bit quicker that was a vehicle off in the distance but let me take care of this zombie real quick he's just gonna end up aggro and timmy anyway there we go and see, another thing about the bow and arrow, I mean, just like with any other gun, you gotta just time it right, get the arch right, and all that kind of shit, so... We're gonna come over here and check out this vehicle. This is actually the first time... Well, no. This is actually the first time I found a Jeep. Not the first time I found a vehicle. I found a cop car out in the middle of the woods once. There's a... There's a car battery. Okay. Now I'm going to get distracted. 
Alright, so we really weren't able to find too much. Uh, th that car was completely wrecked that I found, so don't worry about any of that. Um, but yeah, getting back into the day-night cycles, as you can see, uh, nighttime looks pretty nice. Uh, now, I know that some people were uh, actually commenting on one of my previous Daisy standalone videos when I was recording it all at nighttime, or on a nighttime server that people really couldn't see what was going on so I I tried to put a different uh, brightness filter over this so you guys would be able to see a little bit better so I hope it does come out a little bit better and everything looks clearer on y'all's end but I don't know the the nighttime at least in the game the nighttime seems a lot brighter uh, it just it's just a darker I don't know how you would describe it. I mean, it's it's very light outside. It's like a constant bright full moon with a clear sky outside. I just eat some of these blackberries. See, that, that's another thing I was talking about earlier with the blackberries. You can just pick them up, eat them, and you don't have to worry about going through houses and finding cans of food and figuring out how to open a can of food and all that kind of shit, so... Um, but yeah, I mean the I'm sorry. I keep getting sidetracked here uh, But yeah, the the day and night cycle is is a lot better than Daisy standalone. I think but it's a lot quicker uh, Let's see now just Pick some more blackberries, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I've been I mean I, I'm probably gonna end up having to edit all this kind of stuff down in the video for sure, but Huh, I wonder if a player boarded this up if it was just already boarded up. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So so you can punch it and and you can chop it and basically put a a bullet hole into the wood. That's cool. Uh, but anyways, um Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I was saying, I've been playing for about an hour now. I mean the sun's already come up and everything. Um and I haven't really been able to find too much at all here. I've not even come across another player, and I jumped into a full server. Or, you know, it was, at least it was full an hour, almost an hour ago when I got in. Huh. Ooh. Hoo hoo. Shit, I don't have space for that. I don't make space for that. Drop that combat knife. There we go. And drop the flashlight and then take the combat knife back. There we go. What the hell would I want the flashlight for? Okay, so I can't... Unfortunately, I can't chamber the ammo into this. Like you could with a uh, with any gun you pick up on day Z. You could just chamber around into it. Um, I don't know. Maybe you have to have it in your hands or right click. No. Drag it? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess I have to find a magazine for this. See, like I was saying, in DayZ, you could just find a round and then just chamber it into the weapon, depending on or whether you had a magazine or not, but... I don't know. I mean, I've managed to find a few, uh, a few rounds for a 45, I believe it is. That's a, what is that? A, no, that's not a 45. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. See, that, that's kind of the thing. Like, I, I started this video, or at least I started recording, hoping to go over a lot of the things that I liked and disliked about H1Z1, but as of right now, I don't know. Things are... Things are really not looking up here. I mean, I haven't found anybody. I've killed a few zombies. I found a gun, but no magazine. I've got ammo for said gun, but I don't have a magazine for it. And I don't know, this is kind of boring now. Just running around and searching dumpsters and all this kind of stuff. But uh, depending on how I actually go through and edit all this kind of stuff, it may, it may have to be part two where I actually start getting into some more of the stuff that I like and dislike about the game. But one of the things that I absolutely dislike about the game is the fact that I've been playing for almost an hour and haven't 
really come across anything interesting, so... I don't know. Hopefully the next part turns out better. 